San Diego Community Colleges raise flags to celebrate the start of Pride Month. Time now 1130. I'm Heather Myers filling in for Netta Rompour. I'm Eric Connor. Glad you are with us here today is the start of Pride being June 1st with ceremonies happening across San Diego County right now. In fact, we have team coverage for you on several flag raising events that are happening in San Diego. CBS 8's Kelly has it all live at the San Diego Unified School District headquarters covering their ceremony. First, let's go to CBS 8's Chris Grow covering La Mesa's flag raising. Chris. Yeah, good morning, guys. They raised the flag just a short time ago. It's the third year in a row that the city of La Mesa has decided to do this. They did acknowledge that, look, this is a far change from what used to happen in the past, and they've embraced that, and they want that to be the case moving forward. But because this flag today, this year, all these last three years, and for years, I think, unfortunately, for a few more years, it is, it is controversial. There is resistance. And that's precisely the reason why we need to put it up. Yeah. Yeah. And that was Council Member Jack Shu there with the La Mesa City Council. And you could hear him again acknowledge that this is something that draws a little bit of criticism there from uh, some in the community. But by and large, what we saw today were supporters of the City of Count, uh, City Council of La Mesa going ahead and raising that pride flag, acknowledging Pride Month and going ahead and celebrating it for the month of June. Now, you go south of here into the city of Chula Vista, Chula Vista Elementary School District, and sort of a similar story there as well, too. Just yesterday, there was a meeting in which there was a vote four to one uh, by the school board trustees. They're trying to decide if they would raise the flag, and we did hear public opinion. We heard those who supported the idea because they believe it celebrates inclusivity, that it takes a marginalized community and raises them up. And you also heard from some who believe that the school district is not the type of place where that that flag should fly. However, they did go ahead and approve it. We spoke with school board trustee Kate Bishop, who was there at 630 in the morning, well before work starts for her to celebrate that moment for her. And this is why she decided to go ahead and be there, but also support the flag being raised. I try and fight for the kids, the LGBTQ kids in our district and the families and the staff. And it's really important to all of us to see something like that happen. And we are going to be seeing a number of these events happening throughout San Diego County. That includes San Diego Unified School District, who's following suit uh, with a lot of these municipalities as well as organizations. Covering that side of the story is Kelly Hesedal. Kelly? Yeah, that's right, Chris. Uh, there was a pretty big crowd out here earlier today for uh, the raising of this pride flag. Uh, take a look here behind me. Uh, you can see it here outside of the district headquarters. So this is an annual ceremony, so they do this every year. Uh, the district says uh, what it, this symbolizes is, is that this is a space where everyone should feel accepted. This is a place where I can be myself and regardless of whatever is happening in other parts of the country or in other parts of the world that right now in this space in San Diego, I am safe. <laughs> And here is the moment that the Pride Progress flag went up. Jody Hughey, uh, whom you just heard from, a high school junior, says this is a special moment. Uh, we also heard from some very young students out here today who, uh, who shared their stories. The district says this is about inclusion. It's about showing everyone within the district this is a diverse, accepting place with unconditional support for LGBTQIA plus uh, students, families, uh, educators. They actually had a bus bringing students here so they could attend this ceremony. Uh, meanwhile, the pride flag was also raised this morning for the very first time at all eight San Diego Community College campuses and the district office. Uh, so they held a ceremony there as well. I will be talking about more on that later today. Uh, but back here at San Diego Unified, we had a chance to talk to Jody's mom and she told us this. It's so positive. Um, I just feel so grateful, so blessed to be living here in a place that does embrace him because it, 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 it matters. We see it at home. We see the difference when Jody's accepted, how he feels versus, you know, I, I can't imagine being in another place where he would be rejected just for being who he is. 
And today uh, was emotional. There was a woman in the audience uh, crying as she snapped some pictures, took some video. A lot of the kids today talked about how great it is, how open people are now and how accepting, but they pointed out there are still a lot of people out there who are not. So Pride Month underway here at San Diego Unified at District Headquarters. Uh, we do know that some of the students will be heading to a, a conference on inclusion at Balboa Park later today. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.